Hi, my name is Magnus and today we are going to talk about ACI topologies, uh, also applicable for Cisco Fabric Path. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and um, let's start the video. So normally in an ACI you have two or more spine switches. So the spine switches are more or less the core switches. So you have spine. Spine. And then you have leaf switches. So you just put an L in them for leaf. Each leaf switch is connected to each spine switch. So if you have two spine switches, it's two uplinks. If you have three, it's three uplinks. So, I do like this. So here you have each leaf switch is connected to each spine switch. And normally this is 40 or 100 or 400 gig. So if you imagine this, then this leaf switch has Possibly 800 gigs of uplink. My, me, myself, I use 100 gigs because 400 is too expensive currently. So, in our case, we use the, I will put it here, 93, 63, 64, I don't remember, 64, I think, C. And on the leaf switches, we have the 93180 and the 93180 has 10 25 gig downlink ports so if we put the server here then we can connect it with the VPC with double 10 gigs or double 25 gigs we will do this in a different color so maybe we will do it in blue hopefully that shows on the camera yeah and now we have a port channel so this is what you call a compute leaf and then if you have for example a, a router let's do it red that is normally connected to a border leaf so here is where you have your L3 out if you're running uh, routing within the fabric. So there is no cables between the spine switches and there is no cable between the leaf switches. No equipment other than the leaf switches is connected to the spines with one exception because you need one exception for making it rule. So in this case it's the DCI or IPN switches or routers actually. So you have the IPN and IPN network stands for Interpod network so it can be DCI as well and then it's a data center interconnect. So if you have this IPN network or DCI you connect them to the spine Normally you connect them fully redundant and you also have two links here. So above here you're running routing. So here you're running for example OSPF. The fabric itself is running MPBGP with VXVLAN. So I don't know which color, maybe this, here is MPBGP with VX VLAN. And important here is to have a high MTU. So here you have the compute leaf and border leaf. So. Thank you. 
If you connect this to another pod, then you have your spines, and then you have your, let's do like this, so it's the same level, then you have your leaf switches. have your IPN so these need to be fully redundant or they it's better if they are if we say like this let's see now we just need one more cable and that should be this one so, now it's fully redundant. So, if you have your server here, connected with your 25 gigs, and then you see we have OSPF, we have BGP and so on, so it must be layer 3. No, ACI can make it so it encapsulates the VLAN and allows the layer 2 to be the same here in this pod as here. So you can have the same VLAN or the same EPG. So this is the, the basic topology, or maybe not so basic, but for how to connect ACI. If you have fabric path, sadly, you cannot have here and connect it over. But this part is the same with fabric path, then this is using fabric path. So this is it for the short introduction of uh, ACI topology. So thank you for watching and if you like this uh, video please like and if you want to see more content like this please subscribe. See you in the next video, bye!